On this episode of Cache Canada, we're uh, way up into the mountains and we're going to hide three geocaches. One for our little granddaughter so she can have a hide. And two really cool ones, they're regular geocaches. And I'm joined with Lyric Class and AAM21. Yeah, I was thinking right in here. What do you think? Super. Super spot? What do you think? Is it a good spot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hide the, the cache first one right here. And we'll show you what it's like outside of where we are. There's a whole bunch it's of pine so trees. Excited. It's what? It's so excited. You're so excited? Yeah. Oh, great. That's awesome. That's what geocaching should do. Get you excited. Let's hide a cache. When you want to be loved by you get fooled by anyone so easily. So we're gonna take the wire ties and make a loop. Okay, so like that. And then we're gonna put the container in that loop and we'll tighten it up. And then we're gonna take another wire tie and we're gonna stick it through so that we can tie this to the branch. We're gonna take the scissors and we're just gonna cut off the extra bits and we're going to make sure we take those with us because we don't want to create any extra. Oop, not that one. Whew, whew. <laughs> Start over. I'm going to cut this one off. Okay. So there's your geocache. Okay. We're going to put it up into, well, we could put it down low. That would make more sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, turn around and let me take a picture of you with it. Okay. And I'll take okay. a picture with my camera. Hold up the geocache. Yeah. You hold it right there. And then I will take the tie and put it onto the branch. No, you gotta pull. You gotta act. really. There you go. Pull, 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 pull. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Pull it. Keep pulling. That's okay. Great. All right. Okay. Good job. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to pull it again so it's really tight on that oh. branch. The branch is dead, so it's not going to oh. pinch off any growth. I'll take the scissors and I'll snip off that extra bit. And there we go. There is the geocache. All ready to be found. Big one? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, let's see that one. Must be done. Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was a big. Okay, we had fun throwing rocks, but now it's time to hide a geocache. So we're going to go up into the forest away from the open, try to find a good spot where nobody's going to find it unless they're purposely looking for it. We gotta find a, a good spot, like a bunch of logs, rocks, or a crevice, a little cave. You leave a container like this out in the open, and it's gonna be found, but not by the people that you want to have find it. Okay. <clears throat> We're just checking out the geocache before we hide it. Now that is a bunch of swag. Can I have that one? No, we're gonna. You have to trade. No, because that's and a that's hook. for fishermen's. Yeah, that's a hook. So we're gonna just gonna leave it. Sharpie point. Sharp point. We're gonna leave it all there. So close it up, and then we're gonna hide it. Okay. And there's some more. Okay, pass them to me. I'll put them on top. There we go. All right, sprinkle those on top. There. Well, I think it's a little bit too obvious. So we're gonna place some suspicious sticks 
and rocks on it around it to make sure it's hidden from view. When you want to be loved by everyone, you get there, we've got it uh, all covered with uh, sticks and stumps and some rocks, and we're going to put pine needles over it. That's what uh, AAM21 suggested to really give it some good camo. And then we're going to walk around it, make sure it's nice and hidden, but still visible from the signs that you know as a geocacher SPOS or SPOR, suspicious pile of sticks or rocks. Yeah, if, you, if you're geocaching, you kind of know uh, where this geocache is when you get close because it's kind of a suspicious pile of stuff at the base of a tree. <laughs> so we use the GPS and we're going to hit coordinates. Okay. And this is the coordinates that we're sitting at right now. See? And then we're going to hit the check mark and it's going to go arriving at coordinates. So we say okay. And then we hit that part and it says we're one meter away from the geocache. Okay. So what we're going to do, oh, it says zero now. So what we're going to do is clear it again. Stop navigation, then we're going to go again, hit the coordinates. Now we're going to record those numbers. AAM21, do you think you're ready to hide your own geocache? You know all the steps that are needed to hide one? Yeah. You got to find a good spot, and then you got to take the coordinates, you got to hide it good, and then you have to write up the page and then send it in to be reviewed. And if the reviewer agrees, your geocache gets published. Right, right. Awesome. Under the ground. Yeah, we just got to put some uh, rocks on this side of it. Okay. So um, we can get some rocks from down here and put them up there. Yeah, because you can see it. Grandma. Just a minute, hon. At least it's green. Yeah. You put it over a bit more. It's gonna roll off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. And where's the geocache hidden? Right there. Can you see it? The geocache has been hidden and then we've got the coordinates. Now we're gonna head back to the fire because we've been gone along and we left royal berries there to tend the fire. So we're going to plant the two, or we'll put them up on the site, and we'll get them published. And we want to thank uh, AAM21 for joining us today and hiding these caches. And one of them was her first. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Now, all together, we say, where, where will geocaching, geocaching take you? Take you? Okay, Can ready? you say that? Just say, take where, you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, look at the camera and say, we'll all say it together. Where, where will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? you? Can you say that? Take you? Okay, just point. Okay. Point at the camera. Point at the camera. Where, where will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? you? <laughs> Excellent.